Okay, so the important thing to remember in this question is where you, when you square something, you times it by itself. Now, in this case, itself is the bracket. So when you times it by itself, we can just write the bracket twice. And that's a hurdle a lot of people have um, issues with. Now, um, this is very similar to um, quadratics with uh, x's, um, apart from the fact it's obviously thirds. But the methods still work, so you could use foil, you could use a grid, um, use whatever you want. Um, I'm going to do this, I don't know, with FOIL, why not? But whatever method you're comfortable with. Now FOIL stands for first, so we're going to times the two first ones, which are the two tens. So 10 times 10, which is 100. Then outside, now outside are the two outside ones, which are these two. So we're going to do 10 times root 13, which is just 10 root 13. Then the two inside ones, which is going to be this one and this one which is root 13 times 10, which is also 10 root 13. And the two last ones, which are going to be that root 13 and that root 13 there. Now, when you times the third by itself, you actually just get the number. So if you think about it, um, with thirds, if you times two thirds together, um, you times the numbers. So 13 times 13, which is 169. And then when you square root that, you actually get 13. So you actually get 13 there. Okay. So you might notice that these two will add together. They're what we call kind of in algebra as like terms. And these two can add together. So we're going to end up with 100 plus 13, which is 113. Plus, and we've got 10 lots of root 13 plus another 10 lots of root 13. So that's 20 lots of root 13. So it says it wants it in the form A plus B root 13. So A will be 113 and B will be 20, because it's 20 root 13.